What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So, I've been using the Canon M50 for about almost two months now, and this has been my go to camera for a lot of my YouTube videos. And I made a video about the Canon SL3, it's one of my favorite uh, cameras, but the Canon M50 has been a fantastic camera, and I've been using it for a lot of professional work. Uh, and I think it's fantastic. A lot of videos that you see on this YouTube channel was filmed with the Canon M50. So y'all guys asked the question, what kind of lens that I use? Uh, how do, what some of my uh, settings is uh, with the Canon M50? And uh, a lot of people believe that the Canon M50 is a camera that is for beginners. I mean, that, that may be true, but I can, you can use the Canon M50 for a lot of professional work. And I'm gonna show you some still footage and some video as I vlog with the Canon M50 and kind of give you guys my thoughts after about two months with this camera. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready. Woo, cause I'm at the park and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got the Canon M50. Uh, this has been my go-to camera for a lot of B-rolls and a lot of videos that I make on this YouTube channel. I've been having it for about two months. Now this camera came out about a year ago, but this is one of the most popular mirrorless cameras that is out on the market. Not only that it has a really good price, but you can get adapters and add your high-end EF lenses on there. So let me give you an example. Uh, with the camera I have here, I have an adapter because uh, since this is an E-mount camera, you can only get E-mount lenses. So uh, getting an adapter, you can put your EF uh, lenses on here, which is a fantastic thing. So the way I have my Canon M50 set up uh, is great for me. Uh, I do have an external uh, mic going on here because that's very important, which this camera does have a mic output, which is awesome. Uh, I put the, the adapter on here and I have my Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8 aperture lens on here and actually i have two of them uh the 1.8 aperture is really good for low light and then the uh nd filter is really good for daytime so uh in this video i'm going to show you guys really quick uh some footage and give you some vlogging about the canon m50 and kind of give you guys my thoughts about this camera after having it for about two months fantastic camera so let's go and take some uh, photos and let's get do some video with the Canon M50. Let's go. All right guys, so this is the Canon M50. Uh, this camera here has been my go-to camera for a lot of my videos, a lot of my B-rolls, and everything in between. And I'm gonna tell you, right now, as far as vlogging, it all depends on what kind of camera lens that you have. It's not ideal the, the way I have it set up, uh, which I have this heavy uh, Sigma lens on here, but I'm gonna tell you, the results are so good. This is one of the reasons why I use the Sigma lens, uh, because I like the results. Now, uh, the variable ND filter that I have on here is also really good, um, and I really do like it. It blurs out the background, it keeps me in focus, plus 18 millimeters on the crop sensor. Yeah, it is not too, too wide, but it's wide enough to try to get it done, and I do like it. Now, I know a lot of people that like to do a lot of vlogging, they like to go 10 millimeters and stuff like that, which is fine, especially when you're on the crop sensor like this. But as far as the quality, the quality here of the uh, Canon M50 is really good. Now, yes, you do have to do some stuff in post. That's what pretty much all cameras, uh, once you get it in post, you do have to add some color grading, make your adjustments accordingly. But it, straight coming out the camera, I think is a very good, uh, it does a very good job. Now, let's talk about some of the cons. Uh, some of the cons with this camera is that it does not have uh, stabilization. It does have IS 
uh, but it does not have like in body stabilization. So that's something that you have to consider. Uh, also, the battery life. Look, battery life has been good, but I know a lot of people complain about the battery life has not been that great. Listen, I always tell people, get multiple batteries, go online and uh, get multiple batteries uh, because definitely if you're going to do a long shoot like I'm out here for hours so far, uh, uh, if you want to do a long shoot, yes, uh, I would tell you to get some extra batteries. Also, make sure you get external mic. External mic is always a good thing, especially for these cameras. You don't want to use the camera mic uh, because your, your audio will not sound that great. Also, if you're going to shoot outside, you have to get an uh, a ND filter. Uh, ND filter is very important. I got a veritable ND filter cost me really cheap this is the k and m k and s or whatever uh this nd filter is really good variable so i can change it uh at my leisure so it's no problem uh also everything else in between uh this camera is really good so that was some of the downfalls of this camera not 4k we could talk about 4k not 4k does do a heavy crop uh but you can shoot at 1080p 30 uh you can shoot at 10 24 frames per second and everything in between uh, you can shoot 1080p 60 uh, and uh, at 60 frames per second you can slow it down you can get that slow boy effect which is really good so I will tell you that uh, yes that is a great fantastic thing if you want to use the Canon M50 for that Alright, so this is the Canon M50 and let me go and tell you guys some of my settings that I have on this camera. Right now I'm shooting this wide open at 1.8 aperture. I have the ND filter about two, three stops down. Uh, my ISO is about uh, 100 and my shutter speed is 1 over 60. Uh, and the reason why I got my shutter speed at 1 over 60 is because I'm shooting this at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now, I will be doing some modifications with this and uh, I will go from 1080p, 30 frames per second to 1080p, 60 frames per second. And the reason why is because some of the clips that you're gonna see, I got I slow it down in post. So if I shoot something at 1080p, 60 frames per second, I slow it down about 40%, and then you get that slow-mo effect. Uh, but I'm shooting this video at 1080p, 30 frames per second, but I'm gonna uptick it in post, and then when I, um, I render it, I'm gonna render it high at uh, pretty much at 4K. With the, the autofocus with the Canon M50, it is keeping me definitely in focus, which is a good thing. That's what I like about this camera so much is that uh, I can use this camera for vlogging. I can use this camera for professional use. I can use this camera to take photos. I can use this camera for every kind, any kind of scenario that I need, low light and everything in between because I pair it up with the Sigma lens and the Sigma lens has been a joy. That's why I got two of them for my cameras because I, I love them. It works so good as it keeps me in focus. It blurs everything out. But with the ND filter, I get to crank it up and down a little bit because I'm in a shaded area. And since I'm in a shaded area, I, I have to crank a lot of things up to kind of show me a little bit. And the background is going to be just a little blurred out. The highlights going to be a little brighter. The Chosen. All right, guys, so I'm over at another park and uh, I wanted to kind of talk about a little more about the Canon M50. And uh, this camera has been a delight uh, for me so far. Uh, now, I talk about battery life, about some of the weakest points about this camera, but I can tell you that I've been filming and shooting videos for hours now and I still got really good battery life. So 
I, I'm not sure uh, what a lot of naysayers talk about with battery life with the Canon F50. I've been getting really good battery life, but I do keep extra batteries with me uh, when I'm using this camera on the go. Uh, I wanna show you guys exactly, once I set this camera up on my tripod here, I will kinda of show you guys exactly how it will look. So I'm gonna go ahead on and shoot this here, and here we go. So uh, this is from, when I go out shooting uh, a lot of stuff like that, and I'm out here just kinda of chilling, uh, this is the setup, this is how I do. I do have a monitor, I do have the camera and the tripod and stuff like that. So uh, anytime y'all guys see me out here at the park, you kind of see uh, the setup that I got going on here. And this is exactly the setup that uh, I want to show you guys. And uh, you know, one of the most important parts of shooting outside is having an ND filter. Uh, I, I found out the hard way by shooting videos outside, not having an a, a ND filter, it hurts because you have to make a lot of changes with your settings. Uh, so if you're a beginner, uh, filmmaker or your YouTuber or you just want to get into photography and you want to get away from the cell phone and I mean hey make some money doing some photography and some videography uh, I think the Canon M50 is a very good start professional camera because of the price now when it comes down to the lenses again I would tell you to uh, get the really good lenses. Now the lens pretty much go cost more than the camera body. So uh, this picking up any ca kind of camera body, whether or not it's going to be M50 or the SL3 or the, the Canon 80D or the 90D, or even when you talk about Sony cameras, the, the body itself of most of these cameras are relatively cheap. The most important and the most expensive part of getting into the professional cameras is the camera lenses. So me, I like the the um, the, the Sigma lenses. That's the ones I, I love. And the reason why I love the Canon Sigma lenses is because every part of 18 to 35 millimeter, I can shoot it at 1.8 aperture, which is fantastic. So uh, that's some of the unique things uh, when using uh, uh, the, the Sigma lenses that's capped out at 1.8 aperture. So another unique feature that the Canon F50 have is the flip out articulating screen. Look, man, sometimes this is a game changer, especially if you vlogging or you're doing something in between and you want to see everything that's going on and it has a full touch screen that works out very well. So having a flip out screen this way, you can see everything. Now, one of the things that does get in the way is that you do have your mic port right on the side, but the flip out screen works out very good, especially if you take a, uh, photos and look at that videos and you want to make sure that everything is in focus and you can tap the focus and everything in between. So, I mean, I really do like the nice, beautiful display on the M50. I mean, Canon did it right here. Canon did it right with the, uh, the, the M50. They got a nice, powerful camera that you could do everything in between. And I mean, without a doubt, you can use this camera no matter what. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Canon M50 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.